Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything from the 1st Royal Aerospace Squadron. And I'm coming to you with a PowerPoint. Uh, this is, I know you've all tuned in to see a math lesson, right? Well, I'm sure that's not what you've turned in for. But I want to, sh I want to express uh, like this thing that I've been tossing around in my head. Uh, I was curious about these Star Citizen ships and how fast they are compared to the other ships. Now, I don't have any set numbers, but this is the PowerPoint that I came out with, and I want to kind of share this with everybody. Here we go. Uh, how Understand how your Star Citizen ship will compare to the other ships. This is an attempt to guess how the engine thrust ratings will affect our ship speeds. Using info I found on the ship specs on the RSA website, I've extrapolated a reasonable scale. Okay, basically I've taken info from the RSA website and I kind of crunched some numbers and I came up with this. Uh, the formulas, they're not official. They could be totally way off base and probably are. And But this is just to give you a general rule of thumb, just to, just to kind of allow you to con, uh, compare them to other ships. Okay, we're going to use this formula right here. It's TV equals V divided by... T divided by thrust. Okay, now what does that mean? That well, that's TV is going to be our total velocity. Okay, uh, end result. That's going to be our result in kilometers per hour. Uh, v. Uh, well, here I can tell you, V is going to be a thousand kilometers per hour, and that value I just picked it off the top of my head. It could be two thousand. It could be fifteen. It could be whatever. Uh, RSI wants to make that um, right now. I've just picked that because it seems like a reasonable number in my formula, okay? It, I don't have any idea what the true number will be. Uh, T is weight in tons, okay? This is your ship's weight in tons, and if you have cargo, you got to add that too because you've got to move the cargo just like you have to move the ship in space. TR, that's a combined thrust rating. So if you've got multiple ships with engines, what we do is we add them all together and we get a total value of thrust. Now, this is only true if... One ship's TR3 equals another ship's TR3 in the amount of delta V it creates. If uh, one ship's TR3 is different than another ship's TR3, then they don't, this, this whole thing will fail, okay? It, it doesn't even matter. Uh, it, if it's only based on individual ships, this formula doesn't, you know, the, this is bogus. Okay, moving on. Uh, whoop, wrong direction, right? Okay. Okay, and then the TV equals the true max velocity in kilometers per hour. Okay, so let's take the Aurora ES, okay? It's 15,000 kilograms, or 15 tons. Its max engine is a TR3. That doesn't mean it's equipped with a TR3 right now when you buy it, but it has a max potential of having a TR3. It can carry 5 tons of cargo, and you can find that all on the RSI uh, ship specs website. So empty... What we do is we take in the formula, if you notice the formula in the bottom right, you'll take the tons and the thrust rating. So the ton 15 divided by the thrust rating equals 5. Okay, and then you got to continue. So you take 1,000 divided by that 5 we just found out equals 200 kilometers per hour. So empty, the Aurora is going 200 kilometers per hour. That's if the basis was 1,000. It might not be. If it was 2,000, then this number would be probably doubled. Okay, so go to uh, loaded. That's if you have the five tons of cargo on it. Well, it c makes the ship uh, 15 tons plus five tons is 20 tons. So 20 divided by the same engines, because they didn't change, divided by three equals the drag of 6.66, okay? And so you take 1,000 divided by the drag equals... 50, uh, 150 kph. So if you carry your cargo, it's going to slow you down considerably. And it, it can slows them down considerably because that's because 5 tons is one-third of the weight of the ship. Okay? It's actually one-fourth of the weight of the ship uh, once you add them together. Okay? Moving on. Going to another ship. Uh, okay, let's take the 300i. It's a 20-ton ship. It has a TR4, so it's a little bit bigger engine, but it is a bigger... Uh, it is a bigger ship. And then it has 8 tons of cargo. So if you notice, empty, that's 20 tons, which is the same as the Aurora 
loaded. So the Aurora loaded is 20 tons. Whoops. The 300i empty is 20 tons, so it's a bigger ship. It has a TR4, more thrust, so that gives you a 5. 1,000 divided by 5, 200 kph. But if you add the extra 8 tons of cargo, now you're looking at a 7 drag causing that to be 142 kph. So you go either like 200 or 142. You can carry less cargo. You don't have to carry the full 8. But whatever the math formula is, whatever your tonnage is divided by your thrust rating, gets you your end result. And we go down, okay, let's look at the Hornet, right? It doesn't have any cargo, but it is 22 tons. So that sucker is heavier than the 300i. It weighs a lot, okay, because it's military, it's heavily armored. Okay, it's a tank, basically. So you go down to the empty, okay, 22 tons, divided by 4, the same as the 300i. Its max speed is 181. So we can't do that 200, right? Okay, so the 300i is going to be faster there it is, faster than the F-7. Okay, so then let's go to the next ship, which I think is going to shock some people, the Constellation, right? We have the Constellation. Well, that is 75 tons, okay? Uh, and it has 35 tons of cargo, but it has four TR-6 engines. So it has some massive engines. Add all those together, you have a TR-24. Come down here, empty, 75 tons divided by 24 thrust rating equals a 3.2 drag that's not very big so not a whole lot of drag there so you go to a thousand divided by 3.12 i'm going 320 kph i'm out running the 300i empty right okay so i'm just flying out there because the engines are so big they're tr you get four tr6s it's just gigantic okay then you go to the loaded right that's if i carry my 35 tons of uh, cargo, it's 110 tons at that point. 24 thrust rating equals a 4.58. Still pretty good. So 1,000 divided by, whoa, I have 7 there. But I've already, I did the correct math. I did 4.58 comes to 218. So I'm flying at 218 fully loaded. That 7 should be a 4.58. I don't know where that came from. That probably came from there. Okay. So, um, so the Constellation can fly. The Constellation can fly pretty fast. It's only because it has four giant engines. You know, it doesn't come standard with those engines. It comes standard with uh, TR-5s. So it would have had a 20. I should do the math for that just real quick while I got you on the line, right? Here, let's see what we got. Boom. Let's bring up a calculate. Oh, okay, let's do this. Let's bring up a calculator. Calculator. Okay, let's, let's, let's try the Constellation. One ten divided by it only has twenty thrust rating because it would have four fives. Whoops. Twenty. Five point five. Okay, so let's do this. A thousand divided by five point. Whoops. Point five. I'm only traveling at one eighty one. So uh, that three hundred I would be able to catch me. Uh, st with stock engines. But if I upgrade my engines to the TR-6s, which I can, I'm going to be flying. All right, now I hope that helps you. And there's a formula right there. I hope that helps you understand uh, a little bit about the engines. The TR rating compared to the weight will get you your velocity. All right. And again, uh, now again, these numbers are not necessarily accurate or correct. This formula might not even be the one they're using. They might be giving you diminishing returns based on the bigger the engines might actually not be a straight number. Like a TR2 might not be twice as powerful as a TR1. And a TR3 might not be three times as good as a TR1. If that's the case, then these, this formula doesn't work. All right, well, thanks for checking out this uh, video, and I hope that helped you out. And I'll see you in the verse.